Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, your host. And uh, today we are going to talk about intuition um, versus the mind, the power of your intuition, the voice within you. It's easy quite often for the spiritual seeker, the spiritual warrior, um, it gets, it could be confusing and it gets misinterpret, uh, there's a misinterpretation of egoic uh, knowing that I've seen that over and over again, and I have done it myself, but I've seen it with thousands of different people who have come to my retreats or workshops or I've worked with them, that they fall into this trap, and it's a very dangerous trap, that the ego takes over and they start using or imagining that the intuition, intuitive voice, uh, they replace it with the ego and what the mind is telling them. And it's a subtle, it's a very, it's like a, a the difference between the two, it's very subtle. It's something, I'm going to do my best to explain it to you. But it's truly something you're going to have to figure it out for yourself. And it's something that very difficult to explain. If you try to understand it with the mind, it's literally impossible because it's very easy to confuse it with the mind, the thoughts. But if you tune into it and start paying attention, that voice comes from a different place than the ordinary stream of thoughts that you're picking up with your mind, or that's where it's being identified, or that where it appears to be. This one comes from a different place. This one really comes from the gut. It comes from this area. It's not coming from here. If I were to put a location to it, which is really not exactly the right way, but one is really from here and the other one is from this area. They're coming from two different areas. If I was to put a location to it, but that's just a matter of saying it again. So, as you tune in, as you tune in with yourself, as you begin to listen to your heart, as this great shift starts to take place, from what the mind tell us that we need to do or the stream of the thoughts which is coming from conditioning from your parents, from your society, from the culture you're in, uh, the region you're in, the religion, uh, the totality belief system of your community of you should do this or you should do that and da 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 as that shifts and that shift happens based on the more you become meditative the more you're diving within yourself the more you're working on yourself and your mind becomes quiet You're quieting down. So, 
you're disconnecting from this activity. Again, I'm just saying, you know, here because it's easier for me to create this distinction between the two. That's why I'm using it. But neither of them is here or there, okay? So it's just a way of explaining it. That's all it is. So. And this thing is happening all the time, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it's depending on whether you've been watching the news or what kind of food you ate or whether you got a good night's sleep or or you're taking medications or whatever is the story, wherever you're at, whatever is happening in your life um, depends how identified you are with your the utter world how identified you are with your mind, your emotions. It varies, but this one is, is dual thinking. This one is like the battle of two different people in your head. So it's like a dub, double headed snake. On one hand is telling you, do this, do this, do this. And you go do it. And then it comes and beats you up. Why did you do that? You're an idiot. You're so stupid. You never listen. You never pay attention. Again, you did this. So this one is playing this dual character, which basically is encouraging you to do something or creating this desire to do something. And then on the other hand, comes and beats you up or why you did it. I use that example some other time. It's like, you know, you get these compulsions or this desire to get some ice cream and then you don't do very well with dairy and you go get your ice cream and now you're bloated and you're very uncomfortable and now you're beating yourself up why you did it. Or you go out with your friends and you have one extra drink and then the next day you're having a migraine headache now you're beating yourself up why, why you went out and had an extra drink. So, and we all have dealt with this. We all know this. Or whatever, you make an investment in whatever area and then you, maybe you lose money and, and, or you're investing on a person or, and then the the vo the voice comes and beats you up why you did that because you're stupid you don't pay attention you don't listen you don't learn and daddy 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 it goes on but as you're working on yourself you're on the path and you're quieting down you're not so attached and identified with your mind so your mind becomes you dive into the witness, the observer, and you're observing the mind. You're observing the emotions. And you're also becoming an obs observant of your body. Then a detachment starts to happen. Something detaches. There's like, it starts with a hairline crack in between you and these are the three elements. And the crack starts to separate and become bigger. As this shift is happening, it's like a migration from the head to the heart. You're migrating from your thinking mind into from an analytical mind that is calculative and it's conditioned mainly based on fear. You're shifting into the heart and you're coming to the heart of awareness. You're coming to the wisdom. And you begin to notice your, we call it like I'm following my heart. I'm listening to my heart. <laughs> 